What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kyler and today I'm going to show you how to properly clean and protect the Alcantara trim that's in your car. And to do this job today I'm going to be using Color Locks Fabric and Alcantara cleaning kit. So with this kit you get a cleaner, a waterproofer spray, you get a brush and then you also get a sponge applicator to use as well. So let's get into it. For those of you that are new to my channel this is my BMW 340i and I just made a pretty big upgrade. I got the M Performance Alcantara and Dry Carbon Trim Kit for the dash and I got the trim around the infotainment and then a little bit more Alcantara over here. And then so in the future I'm going to get a bit more Alcantara parts, you know, down here on the shifter and on the e-brake as well. But for now since we just have this, I couldn't wait. I had to go ahead and uh, and buy the Color Lock Fabric Cleaner and Waterproofing Kit because I just love detailing products. It's like Christmas to me every time I get to order them and they come in the mail. <laughs> so we're going to start with the Alcantara and Fabric Cleaner. So we're just going to shake it up pretty well and then we'll go ahead and just spray some on our applicator sponge and then with this bottle there's just like a little lever that you want to press over so you can be able to spray it. And so we're just going to spray a little on our sponge And so this product is really versatile. You can use it on almost any type of fabrics. And then the waterproofing is as well. So you can use this on your shoes even. So I'll probably do that actually on some of the pairs of shoes I have or clothes or whatever, you know, whatever's textile. So you want to spray a little bit on the spongy applicator, the cleaner, and you just want to go ahead and massage it, just clean it. It comes with this brush, but this brush is, you know, pretty hard bristles. And I don't have any stains or anything in the Alcantara, you know, it's brand new. So I'm just going to use this uh, sponge so it's nothing too rough, too abrasive. So with this we're just cleaning it and you can even like spray a little bit. On here. And it's soaking in really well, so I'm just going to keep spraying a little more. Love to have my things clean and protected just to know that they're going to last long. And I'm going to get the most out of them. So, of course, if you have uh, some d more dirty Alcantara or, you know, it's in your seats or something like that, you want to use a vacuum before you go ahead and do this process just to get up any loose dirt or anything that might be stuck in Alcantara. Yeah, it's going to make it look so clean, a uniform look. So I got a little bit on this side and get to. So once you're done cleaning it, you want to go ahead and uh, just rinse out your sponge and then leave it a little damp so then we can go back and remove the cleaner we just want to keep going over it until we don't see it there anymore on the surface and if you have like Alcantara seats or something that's a lot more surface area than this of course you can use like a, a wet vac to go ahead and uh, get all this cleaner off And then I'm going to need a little bit more water because the sponge dried out really fast and I still see some cleaner on here. So let me get some more water. We're back. It would probably be more helpful if I just had a little like Tupperware with some water in it so I could just keep dunking it in there. But since we're not working with a lot of area here, I'm just going to keep it going how it is. So we just got our sponge really damp. And you can see the cleaner is still on there. And I want to be careful with this stitching too. I don't want to ruin that or unravel it. If I can avoid 
avoid it. All right, so we did a pretty good job of soaking up all the cleaner. And now we're gonna wait probably a few hours until it's pretty much dry to the touch. And then we're gonna spray out our waterproofing spray. And then we should be good. Very easy process, not much to it. All right, so I waited a few hours. The Alcantara is fully dry, dry to the touch. And now we're ready to apply our waterproofing. So here's the spray. Go ahead and shake it up. Make sure all the chemicals are mixed. And then we can even use a towel or a rag just to kind of avoid getting any overspray on the rest of the dash. It's not a super big deal if you do. Um, I know you can just wipe it off easily and it shouldn't harm any of the other components. So just like that, we got pretty even coverage, I'd say. Got a little bit of overspray here and there, but nothing that this little terry cloth shouldn't be able to take off. Yeah, it's coming off no problem, not leaving any streaking or anything like that. But that is cool. And I did get a little bit on the screen. Maybe you want to use more than one overspray cloth. <laughs> But uh, should come off no problem. And I might have to really wipe it off. Cool, yeah, no residue on the screen, so that's always good. Kind of scary. And then go ahead and get the remaining. So yeah, it looks really good. So that pretty much wraps up this video. A nice and short one for you guys on how to clean and protect the Alcantara and fabric trim in your car. It's a pretty cool kit because it's versatile. You know, you can use it on pretty much any fabric or textile. And you can even use it on your shoes, which I'm looking forward to trying out, especially that waterproofing spray. I really like the Color Lock company. I think they're like a UK based company, but they're really serious about their products and the chemical makeup and everything that I've used from them so far just works really well. Even on my steering wheel, my leather, it just gives it such a nice, clean, matte finish and it just works really well. So I know the kit that I bought comes with one of those brushes that I didn't use for this particular job, but you can still buy the kit and then use that brush to clean your leather. So it works really well for that. So you can just go ahead and just buy the leather cleaning and leather shield products separately. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. We got lots of more content to come. We got mods waiting to be installed, mods on the way. So I'm really just having fun, just building out this car. And hopefully we'll get to a point where I don't have to spend any more money on mods. <laughs> but we'll see whenever that might be. Maybe never, probably never. I appreciate everyone watching. Please hit that like button to support the channel. Subscribe if you are already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.